action. Hi everybody, welcome back. Scrap. Hi everybody, it's your girl Ty. Welcome back to another channel. This is not my podcast, redo. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Takaija. If you're new here, thanks for tuning in. This channel is all about my journey to conceive rainbow baby number one. If you are returning, even though I only have one video, thank you for returning, thank you for subscribing, and thank you for viewing. Um, I am so glad that I started this YouTube. I am still learning how to record, edit, everything is on my phone for now but I'm gonna upgrade eventually. I just need to make sure I am being smart with my coin. So I'm gonna kind of do things out of order. I'm gonna make a video today about my prep to conceive. I thought it would have been best to do a video about who I am because some of you may not know me, but I'm really excited just to show you guys some of the products that I'm using. Um, and this is going to be probably a longer video because I'm using a lot of products, as you could probably tell in the thumbnail. And then I'll release um, a, an introduction video soon, probably within the same week. Just who I am, how did I get to this journey? Um, I was going to do everything one long in one long video, but that would have been like a 30, 35 minute video. So. I'm going to do that. I have some great video concepts. That's why I have my laptop here because I kind of wrote out my outline. I want to be organized. Um, and I just really want to show you all some of the things I'm using because I want to get your feedback on how these products may have worked for you or have not worked for you. And if you have any um, suggestions on other things I could use. Um, and we'll get more into... Uh, about me but there are no clear reasons for my miscarriages i've had two miscarriages three months apart um in 2018 slash 2019 and uh they were both too early to tell um i am overweight but my doctor said that's likely not a result uh, or that that was likely not to have impacted the miscarriage or the pregnancies. So, you know, I've been doing a lot of research online, just trying to figure out what it possibly may be because I miscarried the same time each pregnancy. So right now I'm just focusing on overall health and um, balancing my hormones. Being overweight can throw off your estrogen or it can increase it highly, which messes up your progesterone production. So, you know, I'm just, making things up in my head really while I wait for my test results for my genetic test and my husband's genetic test to get back. With all that said, we'll get into that in the next video about who I am. That will come out sometime this week as well. And please excuse me, it is so hot. And I notice a lot of women put on makeup to do their videos. And I don't know if that, you know, contributes to the views or whatever, but your girl's gonna be natural. It is so hot. I have this fan on and it's doing nothing. All right. Oh, let's get into it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm done. You guys, I'm goofy. So I just wanna kinda go over some of the products I've been using. Please don't judge me. They are a lot of products, but I've noticed a huge change in how I feel using all of these products. Um, me and my husband agreed that we will start trying to conceive in cycle, uh, my cycle one of trying to conceive, like actively going at it will be in August. But I wanted to take the rest of June and all of July to kind of get my body together, work out, lose as much weight as possible, stabilize my hormones and kind of see how these supplements have impacted my body. As you, most of you probably know, it takes a good um, two to four weeks for supplements to really take effect to your body. You have to use them consistently according to the recommended daily usage. I've been taking some of them now for about two going on three weeks and I feel a huge difference. Um, I have to do more research on which ones I can still use within pregnancy um, when I get pregnant, but most of them I believe that I can. Just a quick overview. Here is the basket full of stuff. Here is more stuff. Here is more stuff. I'm making this gel tonight. And 
I love these. I got these, this recommendation from another uh, YouTuber who is trying to conceive and I love those ovulation test thing the digs. All right, so I'm gonna put all this down. Ooh. We're gonna go through everything kind of one by one and what it does. And uh, hopefully it helps give some more information and all of this stuff is good for you just in general you don't have to be trying to get pregnant this good this stuff is good for you in general so with that all said I broke it down into several categories spiritual um, health physical health ovulation timing and charting and vitamins so I'll try not to take too long I love talking though so here we go spiritual the things that I have been doing spiritually to get ready to conceive I've had two miscarriages, which really messed up my mental and it messed up my view on life and purpose and the divine. And I'm really big on spirituality. I love feeling like I'm connected to something bigger than myself. So when I had two miscarriages back to back, I was confused. I was completely confused. I didn't know why I was going through this. I felt like it wasn't fair. And I felt like the divine disconnected himself from me. And I just spiraled. So I got some advice from some other spiritual warriors and um, a lot of them recommended that I meditate and I use things to really get my, my mind and my spirit back together. So some of the things I've been doing is stress management, which is deep breathing. Um, I've been doing color therapy as far as like visualizing colors if I'm stressed out or if I'm angry or if I'm not in the best of moods. I've also started a fertility uh, devotional on the Bible app and it's really simple it's like two scriptures a day and a paragraph devotional and you don't have to be spiritual you don't even have to be a Christian to do this devotional I like it because they're true words of wisdom so I take these devotionals and I kind of apply them to my daily life it's an eight-week um, uh, plan and it has been so helpful. I'm about three weeks in and I love every single thing about it. It just gives me something to meditate on. I'm really big on meditation. And going into meditation, I meditate. I listen to the um, Insight Timer app. I'll try to put all of the, I'll put all this in the description, but I'll also put it across the screen. Um, I listen to the Insight Timer app for deep sleep. So I like, it's really good for me to hit REM, REM sleep because I'm not a good sleeper. Um, I wake up very often throughout the night and the self timer app has truly helped me get together my sleep patterns, which I feel like helps when you are trying to conceive and in your fertility journey. That gives you a chance to rejuvenate. That gives you a chance to for your cells to rest and to restore. So if you're not getting sleep, you could be affecting your journey to conceive. Acupuncture. I've only done acupuncture once and I loved it. I loved it, I loved it. It's just really expensive. So um, I have been looking online about acupuncture and trying to conceive. So I'm probably going to do a few acupuncture appointments when I'm closer to when I'm actually trying to conceive. So I'll probably do one acupuncture appointment a month starting in, or a week starting in August and seeing how that goes. Um, I heard it's really good for blood flow to your womb, to your uterus. And I heard that it just circulates all of those cells and they restore themselves when you do acupuncture. I'm a huge fan of Eastern medicine. Western medicine sometimes just, uh, that's that on that. Prayer. Again, I like feeling like I'm connected to something greater than me. Um, to me, the universe is too big to have just always existed. That's my personal opinion. For some people, it's the complete opposite. Whatever, that's totally fine. Um, but it's really important that I pray and I always ask for my friends and family to pray for me in this journey. And me and my husband pray for our future children all the time. And it's just, it gives me seeds of hope. And right now, hope is something that I really need to get through this journey. And crystals. So my favorite crystal, some people may laugh at me, but I do believe in uh, the healing powers of crystals. I haven't been as faithful to my crystals as I have in the past, but 
I have this carnelian crystal and people charge their crystals in different ways. I can do a video on that if someone really wants me to, but I'm not like a spiritual guru. So do some research on them. But carnelian is helpful for reproductive health and fertility and sexual health. So I bought this like way before I even got pregnant the first time. But I'm so glad I bought it. The divine God, I keep saying the divine, but God to me led me to this crystal. Um, it said that crystals basically make themselves known to you. You don't go out seeking a crystal. They make themselves known to you. And I just like the shape and the color of this crystal, but I didn't even know that it was for fertility. So you charge it in fresh bodies of clean water, such as rivers or lakes, or you can uh, charge them with uh, spring bottled water or uh, alkaline water. And you speak good intentions into it, such as, I want my womb to carry a baby. I want, you know, all of earth and its elements to back me in my pregnancy. And I'll lay it on my uterus for about 10 minutes while reciting whatever prayer or whatever mantra um, is going through my head and I put it down. I also have selenite. So if people touch your crystals, they can transfer their negative energy into your crystals. Selenite is a cleansing crystal. So you can cleanse all your crystals with selenite. Um, and I'll, I'll put these down as well. I got these from like a small crystal store out here in Maryland. So that may be a little far out there, but I like it. I also have amethyst calming effects, similar to lavender. I love crystals. All right, so we're gonna move on to the physical. Um, what I've been doing physically, the biggest one, working out. I've always kind of been someone who works out and who, and who enjoys working out, but when I had the first miscarriage, I completely stopped. I divulged into anything my body wanted to do, which was being stagnant and eating whatever I wanted to. I got back in the rhythm of things, and then I had another miscarriage three months later, and I kind of fell back into that routine. So what I've been doing, I have asthma, and my mom, when she was pregnant with all of us, my mom has seven kids, she had pregnancy-induced asthma. So I have a high susceptibility of having my asthma being triggered even worse when I get pregnant. So to manage my lung health and my heart health, I have been doing lots of cardio. Um, I also do strength training because your core, you know, you have to get your core together um, because it will be completely reconfigured when you are pregnant. Um, but I've been really working on getting my heart and my lungs healthy because carrying an extra, you know, even 10 pounds is, very labor intensive. A lot of stair mastering. I've been doing a lot of rowing. I also have a membership at Orange Theory that I just came from. That's why I look like this. Um, and I love it. And I feel stronger and I feel like I can walk longer and I'm not out of breath and I'm not feeling so sluggish. I'm sleeping better. So of course I plan to work out all throughout my pregnancy. I want to make sure I have cankles. They run in my family, so those need to stay not swollen. Get it together. So I plan on working out. So I'm doing that now. Kegels. I uh, have a timer or I have an alarm on my phone three times a day. I do kegels, uh, 15 to 25 kegels per session. I also have a carnelian um, yoni egg. Again, it's a crystal. You insert it into your badge, Jaina. You guys, I curse a lot and it's so hard not to, okay? It's just part of my vocabulary. You insert it into your vagina and you do your kegels with it and it strengthens your vaginal walls, which prepares you for childbirth. And it also makes sex that much more desirable. Trust me, girl. Herbal teas. Lots and lots of tea several different kinds. So my husband loves tea. I also love tea. So we both do ginger tea about one or two times a day. I also drink dandelion tea because I heard it helps with progesterone production. Um, it's just really expensive and I don't know why dandelion tea is expensive and maybe it's just the brand I buy. So I may need to start looking for something on Amazon in bulk 
but I try to drink dandelion tea. You're only supposed to drink for two weeks straight at a time, then take two weeks off and do it again. And I don't know why, so I'll read more on that. But I do do dandelion tea. Um, I have uh, pregnancy tea all by this brand. I'm sure you guys have seen the brand, Traditional Medicinals. It's a great brand. Most of my tea is from there or from Yogi or Trader Joe's, of course. The next section that we're gonna go down is ovulation, timing and charting, yeah. All right, this is my favorite part because I love these uh, products, okay? So the first one, I got, I've never heard of Pregmate until I started following Meet the Dex, Mariah, who is literally, I love her so much, I hope I can meet her one day and I'm gonna link her, um, her channel, she's also on a trying to conceive journey and she just has, she really inspired me to start this and be as open and honest as possible and to get rid of all of the shame and guilt I have or had around having two miscarriages. So, Pregmate ovulation kits, I love them. I bought the combo pack and this has um, the ovulation predictor test and it also has pregnancy tests. So I got 50 ovulation predictors and I also got the 25 pregnancy test. Now one thing about me, my cycle has always been regular but when I uh, had the second miscarriage I couldn't really time it. You know I've done things like measured my cervical mucus and paid attention to my body but it was unpredictable and my periods became very short. I've always had seven periods, not super heavy but I've always had seven but now I've only been having like or seven days worth of a period. Now it's only been like um, uh, three to four days. So it kind of worried me. So I said, okay, I need to really figure out what's going on with my body. Me and my husband don't use protection because we're trying to conceive. Also, I don't like birth control. Ugh. Hormones, get away from me. So I've been using these in conjunction with the Ava bracelet. I love this thing. Disclaimer though. This thing is super expensive. I think it's like $200, maybe a little bit more. I will link my code though. Um, if you buy an Ava bracelet, you get a $20 off code. So if anyone's interested in this, I'm actually gonna do a full review on this bracelet. Um, but I'll also link my code if you've been thinking about buying one and you want some money off. But I love this bracelet. It was worth every single penny. And if you can't afford it all in one payment, they do have um, a payment plan option. So that's also um, something if you're really interested in trying to conceive and finding something that measures all of your parameters, this is the way to go. So I've been using these two together. I've been using this for quite some time, probably since January. I just started using these with my last period cycle that, uh, or I ovulated like last week. So I started using these um, just this month and I love them. Now we're on vitamins and herbs. So the first one I'll start with, of course. Nope, we're not gonna start with that. <laughs> We're gonna start with my prenatal vitamin. So I use uh, Rainbow Light Prenatal One. It actually looks like this now. I just I bought a new bottle because I'm almost out of these. But I love those. They're a great, I've read so many reviews, they're a great overall prenatal. Lots of doctors recommend it. Um, it doesn't have, some people take folic acid on the side. I don't take extra folic acid right now because my doctor didn't say I needed to. Horn green. So I'm out of these, but I just ordered some and they should be here early uh, this week. But I can't take these when I actually become pregnant. I started taking these because my libido took a huge hit after both of the miscarriages, I think because of psychological reasons and as well as um, uh, hormonal reasons. So this is a libido enhancer. It enhances arousal and response and it has so many great ingredients, but it is, it is not recommended you take this when you're pregnant. So when I am in my two week wait, I will completely stop using this. Um, next is a probiotic. I love this brand, Aura Organic. 
They're a little pricey, but they're a vegan brand. I use their protein. I drink a protein shake every morning with maca root powder in it. Their protein is amazing and it's vegan and it's clean and it just feels really good and it's fulfilling. The next that I use, that's my husband's, vitamin D3. So I heard this is also helpful for women who are trying to conceive to use. Also, a lot of us are vitamin D deficient. I thought because I'm black, I can't be vitamin D deficient. I said, all oh, this melanin, <laughs> clearly I get sun. Wrong. I don't know if I'm vitamin D deficient. I haven't gotten those test results back, but I'm taking this because I heard it's helpful with the progesterone production and also carrying, sustaining a healthy pregnancy. Next, 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 zinc. I have, um, and all these are like vitamin shop brand because they're affordable. I'm, I started taking zinc as well as vitamin B6 because I heard this is also helpful with progesterone production. I don't know if progesterone issues are what is what's causing my miscarriages, but from some of my symptoms, it kind of sounds like it. And when I had my first miscarriage, I didn't even pay attention to my doctor's notes, but I have very low progesterone. And then the rest are my husband's. My husband's just, he's taking zinc as well for sperm quality production, but he's also taking a vitamin shop brand men's one a day. He's also eating healthier, drinking his teas and all that stuff. Um, now we're gonna get to some of the fun stuff. Maca powder. You guys, I don't think maca is recommended you uh, ingest when you find out you're pregnant, but this is a hormone stabilizer. It is a, um, a superfood. It tastes great in shakes. Every single morning, I drink a maca smoothie, and that consists of cacao, which is really high in fiber if you're having regularity issues. Blend some of this up. Um, I'm also taking it with coconut milk, a little bit of liquid stevia, and a banana, and aura organic protein. Y'all. Two more things and then I'm done, I promise. Ooh, 30 minutes. Seamoss gel. I have never used this, but I have seen so many claims about it. Um, this is also from the same company that I got my hungry pills from. Um, I have You have to make the gel, but supposedly CMOS has 92 of the essential, of the out, 92 out of 100 essential nutrients that you need to survive. Um, you basically turn this dry stuff, the, the moss, into a gel. And you put a tablespoon or two tablespoons into a smoothie or oatmeal or whatever a day, and it has so much fiber, so it helps with regularity, but it also replenishes lots of nutrients you may have lost through uh, sweating, uh, using the bathroom, stress, hormones, whatever. Last thing, last thing, last thing, Mago 7. I use this once a week. It's a very gentle oxygen cleanser. So we all have had digestive issues in the past. Again, I'm very big on gut health because most disease that emanates in our body starts from your gut. And you can tell the state of someone's whole life by examining what's going on in their digestive tracts. Take them at night. Don't take them during the day because you will not sleep. It's a gentle cleanser, which means it's coming out of the back end, but a lot's coming out. So if you take them around eight o'clock at night, you'll probably have to sit on the toilet around six or seven the next morning. But it's gentle. You're not gonna be running to the bathroom. Your son's gonna be like, oh, oh, I'll be back. <laughs> and it's gonna come out. But so much stuff. I'm, I just don't want to be gross. It's good. I, they sell this at Vitamin Shop, but you can also get it from Amazon. I'll link it below. Amazing product, you guys. So these are some of the things I'm doing to get ready to conceive. I really wanted to do this video. I've also just been, you know, really getting close to my husband and we've been dating each other again. Um, I've been looking at baby clothes. I've just been trying to get my mind together. So I'm really excited. Um, I really wanted to get that out of the way because I love all these products and they've been helpful. And I've gathered all of this stuff through so much re research. But if you have other things you're doing to um, help with fertility, let me know. But I really wanted to do that, you guys. Please comment below any feedback you have, any questions or concerns. All I'm really big on researching this stuff and I love talking about the health benefits in general for all of these products and other products as well. So if you have any advice for me, please pass it along. I'm so excited to take you guys on this journey. Hopefully in August, mid-August, I will be 
doing a live pregnancy test and we'll see two lines on that thing um and give my husband a huge surprise and hopefully we'll have a baby may 2020 that's the goal um so please like subscribe comment give this uh, video a thumbs up let me know how you like it i am looking forward to just really really creating this community or becoming a part of this community you guys are all amazing and i look forward to talking to you later have a good one